Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play retro games on your iPhone and iPad. So the first thing you need to do is open the Apple App Store. And then once you're here, go to search, and then in the search box, type in Delta. That's D-E-L-T-A. And press enter. And then this is the app we're interested in, Delta Game Emulator. So open it. And then once you've opened it, click the download icon. And then once it's completed downloading, go to open. So the first time you open Delta, you'll be presented with this black screen and it says in big writing, no games. To add a game, click on the purple plus icon in the top right corner and go to files. And now we just need to navigate to the folder that contains all of your games. So in my example, I'm going to go to on my iPad. I've made a folder here called ROMs. Just click it, and here I have four ROM files. As you can tell, from these four files, two of them appear to be greyed out. And that generally happens if the ROM files are incompatible with Delta. So this could be for various reasons, maybe they're zipped and you need to unzip them, or maybe it's just a corrupted ROM file. Either unzip the file if applicable, or download an alternative version of the game. Now, in order to import ROM files, click on one of the white files, and then if you want to import all of them at once, just go down here and press select all, and that will highlight everything. And then once you've highlighted what you want to import, press open. And then this will begin the importing process. Now, as I only had two games, the importing process took seconds, but if you have hundreds or thousands of games, this process may take longer. And as you can tell, the box art automatically downloads also. Now. Here at the bottom you can see two dots. This basically represents how many different retro gaming systems have been imported into your Delta library. So the first screen is Super Nintendo, and if we scroll right, you can see Nintendo DS. Now how do we open a game? It's super simple, all you need to do is tap it, and then it begins loading. Now if you want to play the game, you can use the touchscreen buttons, or if you have a Bluetooth controller, you can Bluetooth it to your iPad or iPhone and use that. According to the official documentation, the latest Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch controllers should work with your iPad or iPhone via Bluetooth. Now, if you want to exit the game or go to the emulator menu, go down to the left corner here and you'll see the menu button, push that once, and then you've paused the game and you're in the sub menu. So here you can save state, load state, use cheat codes, fast forward, or you can configure hold buttons. Feel free to have an experiment with these options. If you want to exit the game altogether, just go to main menu. And there we go, we're back at the main menu. Now, let's try a DS game. If you click it, now you'll notice this alert message pop up that says that some DS files are missing. So it's easy to fix this, just go to import files and scroll to the bottom and you'll see a bunch of BIOS files that are all highlighted in red and it says required next to them. Now you need to find these files, put them on your iPad and in order to import them just click on required and then navigate to the folder where you've saved those BIOS files. So I'll show you my example, I'm going to go to on my iPad and I've made a BIOS folder. So I'm just going to click on one, and then you can see the tick has appeared. Now let's do the next one, BIOS 9. There's BIOS 9, tap it, and then tick. And then firmware bin, firmware bin, tick, done. Now if you want to find these BIOS files, you need to source those yourself. I'm sure if you do a Google search, you'll find instructions on how to get these files. And then once you've got all the BIOS files installed, go to done and you'll notice the home screen has appeared. This is basically the Nintendo DS operating system, but we're not too interested in that for the moment. Let's just open the game. Because the Nintendo DS originally used a microphone, your iPad or iPhone will ask you for permission to use the microphone. You can go to allow, and that's it. Nintendo DS game is working. And again, you got all the touchscreen buttons here. If you want to use a Bluetooth controller, you can do. And again, if you want to exit the game, just go to menu and main menu. Now, if you'd like to check out some of the system settings for Delta, just go to the cog wheel in the top left. And here you can configure your controller. So if you just click on that once, you can either choose the touchscreen, or if you have a Bluetooth controller connected, you can select it from the menu below. Let's go back. And over here, you can see all the systems that are compatible with Delta. If you'd like to configure their control skins, just click on one of them. All you need to do is tap one of the skins, and then go to plus and you can replace it for another one. But you'll have to source those skin files yourself. 
And there we go, that's how you play retro video games on your iPhone or iPad with Delta. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis, and thank you for watching.